Hello everyone, my name is Elok Mawarni and I'm from Portuguese history class. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the historical places in Portugal, Passa de Mateus. Passa de Mateus is a palace located in the civil parish of Mateus, municipality of Vila Real, Portugal. Casa de Mateus was built in the first half of the 18th century by Antonio José Botelho Muro, the third Murgado de Mateus. It replaces the family house already existing on the site in the early 17th century. In 1911, it was classified as a national monument. Casa de Mateus is one of the most beautiful representatives of the Baroque period in Portugal. Its construction bears the signature of Nicolau Nazoni, known for the construction of the Clericus Tower in Porto. The palace consists of the main house, the beautiful gardens, and the chapel. The artifacts on permanent display at the Casa de Mateus constitute an important and unique collection of heritage and artistic value that communicates the history of the family and the house. Casa de Mateus nowadays is a living museum which retains the original arrangement and functions of many of its rooms. There are many rooms in the main house. They are entrance hall, Mateus Dalem room, brick room, blue dish room, dining room, rich room, room of sacred art and room of the vestments. The second primary building is the chapel. The construction of the new chapel was started by Antonio José Botelho Muro for the greater honor and glory of God, replacing the old one dating from 1641, although it was only inaugurated by his son, Dom Luis Antonio, in 1759. The front of the chapel is parallel to the main facade of the house and leads to the plane of its rear facade creating space for the Tejero, which with its cruzeiro, separates the Casa de Adaga, richly ornamented with lines of national influence and outward by Master Jose Alvarez do Hero. The height of the facade resumes the height of the main facade of the house. The new sacristy began to display the ceiling and the main altar of the primitive chapel. Among the Morgados de Mateus, Buried here are Dom Luis Antonio, Dom Jose Maria, Dom Jose Luis, Dom Francisco, the third count of Villaril, sixth count of Villaril, fifth count of Melo, and third count of Mangualda. The last primary building is the beautiful gardens. They are located to the east and form the staircase in line with the central axis of the construction and contiguous releases. The aforementioned plans from an inventory from the end of the 18th century refer to the exit to the gardens in the east, south, the garden area, and the farm. Son of the Countess of Mangualdo, the founder of the foundation, planned the cedars tunnel that covers the east staircase, emphasizing the longitudinal perspective axis that characterizes the whole complex. Built three tanks on its north side, designed by Antonio Lino, and reformulated the gardens to the south with a design by Paolo Benz Lima. On the upper level, at the edge of the geometry of another garden, on both sides of the access to the staircase, it creates the only intimate and romantic moments in the entire garden with two large sets of camellia trees and benches. The lake. A water mirror built in the 1950s perfectly extends the building complex, which is reflected in it, reproducing the image of the main facade and surrounded by a forest of chestnut and oak trees planted in the 60s, reflecting in the house in the middle of the vegetation. The sculpture by Joa Cuchaleiro who has been sleeping on the lake since 1981, has already integrated the image of the house. Now, Casa Gemateus hosts art exhibition and classical music concert. 